talked a little bit about um, alternate picking because <clears throat> um, a lot of times alternate picking just tends to be this really um, this kind of technique where you're using a lot of force and I just uh, want to give you a suggestion of that when you play it you you just stay some percentage under your max because Oftentimes, it will end up sounding as fast as when you're, you know, really forcing. It will sound as fast, but just much better. So instead of, you know, just really, really going nuts, maybe this. Um, on the first one, maybe can't even hear the difference. In the first one I was using force and then the next ones I just completely relaxed. And it just, it sounds more, it just sounds better I think. So also, it, um, when you do it this way, you don't have to necessarily warm up for hours before you can go and play any kind of alternate picking. I, I realized though that alternate picking is, uh, as with many of the techniques I guess, is a little bit different for any everyone because some people can just seems like they can uh, you know rip through alternate picking um, anytime um, but some people also has to you know warm up for a long time before they can do it so what I'm saying with this is just warm-up is always a great idea but if you don't have uh, that possibility then just you'll get a much better sound not trying to reach for your maximum speed just you know uh, this is just completely relaxed alternate pig and this is in the morning, I haven't been playing before. So, this might just be, this will uh, help you uh, getting your alternate picking to be a more, a more, um, a nicer experience instead of this thing that you're always struggling with. Um, when you when you do practice, do do your alternate picking uh, practicing, then by all means reach your max. But when you play it and just improvise, try to stay maybe ten percent under what you believe is your your maximum speed because. As you can hear, or maybe you can't hear it, but for me, 
when I say to, when I say to myself I'm staying 10% 20% under my max it sounds pretty much the same tempo to the untrained yeah maybe maybe if you had some kind of device that could uh, that could uh, measure it there would be a little bit of a difference but I think you get so much you get so much back in a better sound when you stay uh, when you don't force anything so try to do that the next time you're just sitting down playing with the guitar <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.